Remember the days of having to run to the kitchen during commercial breaks? Or having to wait a whole week for the next episode of your favorite show? While consumers are changing the channel on their TV viewing habits. A new study predicts there will be more streaming subscribers than cable TV viewers in Canada by 2020. So what does this mean for consumers? Well, it may not be as simple as replacing your $80 a month cable bill with $12 a month for Netflix. With so many streaming services piling into the market, there's more competition than ever for your entertainment dollar. Since the launch and success of Netflix, it seems every major media company in the world is jumping on the streaming bandwagon. In just the past several years in North America, we've seen the arrival of Amazon Video, HBO Go, CBS All Access, Bell Canada's Crave TV, Dozen, and many others. And now even more media heavyweights are piling in. This year, Apple and Disney are expected to launch their own streaming services, which will change the game entirely. Media giants are now fighting over who will get to stream what content. NBC, which is launching its own streaming service, is reportedly planning to pull the hit sitcom The Office off of Netflix. Do you really not know how Netflix works? And you can be sure that Disney's content will slowly disappear from other streaming sites. All that content will only be available on the Disney app. When there are dozens of choices, none of them will be a one-stop shop for entertainment. With the average streaming subscription around $12 per month, five or six subscriptions could add up to a cable TV bill. Will we all go from Netflix and chill to Netflix, Crave, HBO, Amazon, Disney, Apple and chill? Seems like these services would end up being, well, TV channels all over again. Except now, we'd have to pay for each one separately. With so many streaming services scrambling to create original content, the amount of TV being produced has exploded, double what it was just seven years ago. It may be that we are seeing a bubble in TV streaming, one that could eventually burst. If it does, some streaming services could disappear, which might not be a bad thing. Endless bills for TV are one thing no one wants to binge on.